friend or whatever, I feel like I usually want the person who's playing mains to win. Just oh, because, always. like, always because the the emotional like risk reward sucks. It's, it's not like, right. Yeah, like, oh, by the way, uh, it's pinned. The bracket is pinned. So if you if you have the pin message hidden, uh, unhide it, and you will see the bracket. Um, the the bracket command. I don't know. It don't be working. Uh, but yeah, so it's like I don't know. When you lose to someone's secondaries with your main, oh, it, feels it, it, so feels so it feels so bad. It feels so bad. And it's bad. I think it's like like I don't know. I try to explain like when I when I talk to people who like don't know melee about melee, they see like a goofy character or like a secondary. They're like, oh, yeah, let's go, like, oh, that's so dude, epic. dude. Zane's Puff is winning the local. That's yeah. crazy. I'm like, and I'm like, man, they're doing I know my boy. Like, yeah, <laughs> everyone like is going home. They're like, man, Austin, don't rest me. Like, <laughs> It sucks, and then and then Zane's gonna go home. He's gonna play ultimate, and he's gonna be like, "What are these magic tricks?" Like, come on, Zane's, you know, like Zane's, he doesn't Zane's even farming, care. Like, Zane's he, farming three clips a day, where it's just a you know an ultimate character he's never seen before hitting yeah. a B move, and he goes, "Wah!" Dude, there are so many <laughs> ultimate characters that he hasn't seen before, though. There's like a hundred of them. Dude, or whatever. The, the clip against uh, Hero or whatever, where he does like the magic burst, and he's like, "Wah!" And then it cuts. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "This is." There have, I, been, there have been so many perfectly cut screens from. Zane recently. I, I've been enjoying that. Yeah, quite a bit. I was like, I was like, why are we doing ultimate? <laughs> yeah. But but but, I, the but then I see the clip the and I but then I see the clip dude, and I'm like, look at right. his viewers, bro. Are I they are they him. up? Yeah, uh, they're up, dude, dude. He literally he saw that Hungerbox was doing the detox and he's like, wait, that's like thousands of old kids that need someone to watch. I'm gonna just do the reverse oh, and that, steal his viewers. That's actually genius. And then Especially he did. He's got like he gets like three K every time they stream. It's at, crazy. At SmashCon last year, I literally I, I've never been more angry in my life. Nice Zane card. Hbox Grand nice. Finals. Seven. And at the crowd is on fire for Hbox. Oh my god. Nobody's yeah. cheering for Zane. I wanted I Dude, it's all the old kids. If, it's, if Zane, it's our region, but there's so many ultimate kids at, at SmashCon. They outnumber us. I'm sorry. If, if Zane and we were losing the Dreamland clap fight, every yes. melee player was trying to get rid of the Dreamland clappers. They were too. It was like fighting no, a horde of do it. World War Z zombies. Yeah, there's literally. just a billion of them. It, it's it's like you're that character in The Walking Dead where you can tell from like the way that they're <laughs> cutting around, like oh they're gonna die. Yeah, like, no. They, they, the zombie apocalypse. Every window has like Dreamland clap. And, like every door you open dreamland clap like it was it was inescapable i'm so i'll i'll never i i thank the lord that same one that day i would have gotten in a fight in a fight like in the parking lot dude. it would have been i i was not happy thankfully hbox missed the easiest rest of all time yeah. so we didn't even have to go to no it reset. actually wasn't the easiest rest of all time was it not up, up till up till rest is kind of tight there okay um and he was like a frame away from hitting it which was crazy that's so high. That's even better. Yeah, that's, that's there's e so many. I swear to God, like, Practical Task finds, like, once per top eight. Like, oh, this one, this thing was a frame off. And it's like, I damn. mean, the, the classic Mango Zane yeah, smashed yeah, up yeah. at 11. That's, like, the peak example of, like, oh my God, we were yeah. a frame away from a different universe. Yeah, and there was that, that Hungry Box set where he, like, didn't, like, someone grabbed the ledge when, like, like one frame before a bear hit or something. But anyway. That's crazy. Back, back to the match. <laughs> Let's go, Vintage. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, we we're even then because I I'm I'm rooting for Kevin. This is good. This is yeah, vintage honorary William and Mary member. Vintage recently took the very first, I think very first, uh, maybe first in like a long time, but I think first set against Kevin. Um, but that was a really good attempt at like trying to get around the fa the box down angle shield. Uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, Kevin was able to. Um, was able to win in bracket reset. So still won the tournament over Vintage last time, but Vintage has gotten a set recently. So this is a... Uh, it's up in the air. Yeah, yeah. We're it writing the storylines right now. Yeah, th I mean, this is a tumultuous time. For anyone not paying attention to like the results recently in MDBA, it is, it is kind of never been more like up in the air. Like, you know, it, I feel like everyone's been 
giving sets to everyone, like not not necessarily giving, but like you know people are no people everyone. are taking. Yeah, people are taking what's the, what's theirs, you know. Um, so people are getting sets. Like Ethan has been killing it, right? But like you know, he just lost his Zane's puff. He lost at the beginning of the, of the season to a BS. BS. Kevin, BS has been up. Let's go, William yeah. Mary. Kevin has taken a few a few losses at, at the game recently. A lot of firsts. Uh, first time Kevin losing lost the tournament to, to uh, Maelstrom. Right, yeah. yeah, lost barely, barely, barely. Literally had like a drill, like the set winning drill, missed it. Um, which is crazy, but uh, yeah, and then um, also lost to Rap uh, recently. But Kevin uh, was spending more time um, doing warm up and stuff. She was yep. like on on the setups like the whole time. Normally they're back here with like the stream and stuff, um, but not this time. Uh, taking it seriously, taking it full full seriously. I was I was mostly doing stuff. Yeah. But yeah. So. But regardless of if you're warm or not, FD always going to be hard. FD, um, FD unwarmed. Oh, gets you real cool. That's a, that's a double Ooh. jump taken for, for, uh, from Vintage. So this should be an edge guard here. Yeah, the nice. back air, that should seal it. That's Grab ledge. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it for sure. Wow. Yeah, doing a little bit of extra, doing a little bit fancy, but, you know, it still gets it. SMH Shabo would never lose to Zane's Puff. Yeah, Shabo would only lose to super goaded Puff players that ever, I think. True. Um, yeah. Uh, especially, specifically at Summit, to, uh, Nurok Second Summit, um, <laughs> I think that Shabo would only lose to the best of the best pup players yeah. at, at that tournament. Way in, above the caliber. Second round <laughs> of, uh, I think we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Who's to say, who's to say? Just a really goaded pup player yeah, yeah. in the Whoever region. Whoever that kind was. Of, kind of a local talent. <laughs> Uh, nice shine. That, that should heal it. Yeah. So nicely timed to roll up. And Loki, this is rough for Marth. Like a little Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of in Marth's oh. right for sense, but at the same Never time. Never mind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Or, or you just hit weird up tilt hit with a full up. Yeah, the, the, the out up tilt hit was uh, was crazy there. I'm so sick of up tilt. I'm so sick of more up tilt. It is because I've been getting chump checked by it, but I'm still sick of it. Yeah, we're, we're going to form a union against Vintage. I'm I'm down. Not, not against like the, the people ranked higher than Vintage on the PR. Only, nope. only Vintage. Nope. One guy. Nice. Yeah, we're going to uh, Dreamland. This is the classic Marth counterpick, but or counterpick against Marth, yeah, I should yeah. say. Um, but recently, I feel like it's gotten a little bit better for the Marth. As you saw there, the tech chase game has a uh, has, has closed a bit of a hole that this matchup used. Uh, oh damn, nice. No jump there. So just loops this over and over. And uh, oh, but yeah. Um, just gets back. But yeah, it's kind of closed a, a hole of percents where it's like up throw back in the day used to not really get you much because normally you go for up throw immediately, tech chase or whatever. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you couldn't do that as well on Dreamline because you couldn't just get the up up air or up tilt and instantly get it. Then Zane uh, kind of did like the up throw into instant double jump, um, no impact land, and people still do that. But then some people have just opted to, you know what, I'm just gonna tech chase and still until we get to like the whole good thing. percent. Yeah, it's like a Kadoran like Logan thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Craig, uh, another oh, yeah. huge one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Definitely. I think all the sets that I see Craig beat. Kevin in are the sets where Kright is getting like just perfect tech chases like every time. Um, super important for Mark. Wow. Oh my pivot, god. A pivot drop to ledge there from Vintage. That, that is Loki, that's the Vintage. I feel like I see Mario go for that all the time. I wonder if it's a little more consistent with Mars because I know pivot drop, I know Falcons do it because they're like really fast. I think that their point machine might be a little bit more consistent. It's gotta be, I think it's a momentum thing. Yeah, well I know that the PC drop is, but the pivot drop is very They're just playing well. Oh yeah, speaking of, oh, speaking of yeah, Krike speaking and tech of chasing. Krike nice giving their blessing. This is so hard for me. When you're up in the air yes. like this. Ooh. I think there's like so much that Mark gets out of like that that platform mix up of like you fall through or you land on it. Yeah. Um, because you're grounded and actionable like immediately as soon as you land a better one. So you get so much of your agency back. Yeah, Vintage has just kind of called out where Kevin has been going or been doing his defensive options like a few times in a row there. Very impressive. 
Okay, going for the tech chase was not a tech chase situation that time. Maybe a little stale or something. Uh, do you grab stale? I don't remember. Uh, someone in the chat. <laughs> do you grab stale? <laughs> <laughs> do you, wait, do the... Do you, okay, someone in chat. Uh, uh, do foxes back throw lasers stale fox laser? Mm, I don't know. Because I know that the lasers have the properties of lasers. All right. Vintage are getting a huge... Craig huge coming in and to letting us know. Oh, oh my the four times. That's a shit. Yeah. Uh, they do not. They do not. They do not. Okay. okay. That's what I thought. Oh, thank you, Craig, my guy. All right. Vintage up to one here. That's rough. I feel like it's always brutal when you like lose on your counter pick. Like you lose on on the counter pick, and then you lose on your counter pick. Yeah. Abraham Dinkin, it is not game five. This is game four. We win. Battlefield F3. Dreamland. Now we're back to dream. Oh my goodness. The the full hop nair the thing. The full hop nair. Yeah, Marta's uh oh, these texts are just so consistent from her but Yeah, Marta's uh, nair kinda covers like it's weird, it's like up behind him but then down in front of him so there's kind of like if you're up and in front of him you can, you can kind of get through it and then hit his head yeah. okay nice wait from kevin there yeah that's a that's a really when you're the spacey there that's such a dangerous like place to be in because you just know like one part of this comes up that you get along and you're just dead yeah over. vintage has been making so much off of the uh the getting back there but not gonna I guess he didn't have a jump. Uh, I feel like Vintage can't could have gotten a follow-up if he went. He got like an assurance jump, but then didn't get it and just I think actually showed a lot of like really good awareness by just like I don't know. I feel like that's a problem that like at the lower level you see a lot where like people miss the first part of a thing and then they go for the second part yeah, and yeah. it's way worse. Yeah. They they lock themselves into getting punished by the Misreading a hit confirmed. Yeah. Like just being like, okay, I didn't get it. Let's let's hold my second. Let's keep my advantage. Oh my god. I don't know, so. Vintage is just facing so well around. Around coming to areas and stuff. Oh. I feel like. I don't know. That was one of the weird times where like my power shield was weird. Oh my god. Up Okay. I think it could have been down air, but. Yeah, up The not down air looked a little weird. Yeah, no, I, I, I did. Okay. It's a down air there, though. Kevin kind of back against the wall, down 2 1, uh, down a stock. Oh, this is the shine of shield, but. Oh, it doesn't get the second the... shine. Oh, okay. No jump here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Okay. 2 2. Kevin got a lock in. Oh, what a good player. Oh, that's yeah, that was nice, but I, I like the reaction to just shielding. Um, you know, like you said, like, you know, not not getting overzealous, not thinking that, you know, that they're getting something that they're not. Just shielding right after to, to block the fair coming in from, from vintage. Yeah. I feel like Kevin is like properly falling out. Like, Ooh, nice. like the last game, I feel like Mario was hitting so many like really good like reading the approach and or like being the same. Yeah. And now I feel like Kevin's taking advantage of that. I feel like doing like lasers and things like that. Like just waiting. Just yeah, going into different approach. spots. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, right there. Yeah. Just perfectly waiting out, outside of a uh, frame, which is kind of what uh. What Vintage was doing. Vintage was waiting for for Kevin to uh to go in. Oh but now Kevin's kind of waiting for Vintage to, to throw out something anticipatory and then um, punish. So very interesting thing. Right there. And we'll see uh, if Kevin's able to get this to a game five, and then we'll see you know, how how it goes from there. Oh my God! Fair upside. What? Not quite on Have Dreamland. Have you seen that? I've like. 
That's the second time. I've seen it, but it's not kind of not crazy. usually like in neutral. Fair into whatever in neutral is crazy as Fox. I've seen like like I don't know like a low percent like up air into like fair onto the platform or something. Or like like or like, up like throw running fair. running fair like into yeah. something, but like I've never seen it where you're just like fully stood in place and then you just hit the fair. Yeah, and then you just you, you do like fair in place like your Mars and then you go for the combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, join a stadium. This is a little mini FD for Mars, but the the mini doing a lot of work there because it's it is very different um, in in practice because no chain cut. Fox uh, loves the stage. I will say, Marth gets so many like juicy follow-ups on these platforms. They're so big. Yeah. So no chain grab, but still, you, you get a lot of follow-ups. Oh, wow. But also, Fox gets access to slide off, which makes it so that Marth doesn't, you know, always have like a full guaranteed um, follow-up. I feel like it's so important when you go to game five, like having an explosive start like that, where you just kind You're of the first annihilate talk. somebody's stock yeah, yeah, yeah. is so crazy. And, and oh. the, the next stock, I mean, this is a huge thing with momentum, right? When when it's it's close, it's close, it's close, and then the other person it starts feeling like they're they're pulling ahead. Um, it's so scary because you, you just you just feel like you're losing footing and you don't have time to adapt, and you feel like they're getting one over on you, and it's just so much to deal with game five. But if there's anyone who's unshakable, it's vintage. We'll see. He's able to get this edge guard. It's a tipper fair, but tipper fair not quite enough to end it on its own. But gets the non tipper yeah. right after. Was I think again a little slow on it, but had enough time. Okay. Was super crucial for them to get the ledge there. Oh, yeah, that is so. And and that is kind of where it bites you going here as a uh, as Mars. Um, FD is perfect, right? Because it, it, it ceiling isn't high, but it's higher than you know the. the Yoshi's and, and Stadium and whatnot. Um, That's it. But on here, you can get up air so early or, or up smash and still just uh, and just die. But yeah, good stuff to uh, to Kevin clutching that out from down being down two one and uh, bringing it all the way back to uh, to win game five pretty convincingly. That was crazy. Pretty convincingly. After, after super game close, three. super close, super close. But yeah, game three was able to uh, to.